음악가 오들 즐기는 가이드 샘티브 오승현입니다. 자 오늘은 일본 손님을 오셨어요. 이 카트리지 회사 굉장히 혁신적인 그 카트리지 회사 DS 오디오의 대표님 모셨습니다. 인사 나눌까요? Hello, Aki san. Say nice hello to Korea fans. Nice to meet you. I'm Aki from DS Audio. Okay. Uh, so, it's a very, I heard that it's a very innovative. And the design is also it's very beautiful too. Mm, thank you very much. Very, yeah, very nice. Mm. Very colorful lamps mm. in, in front of the cartridges. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it looks different from other cartridges we yes. all know. So, could you say, uh, could you introduce mm. what is different of DS Audio cartridges? The way of the, the making sound or the, the composition or something like that? Yes. Mm. Uh, optical cartridge is using LED and photo detector to mm -hmm. detect needle movement. Uh -huh. Normally, MC cartridge, MM and MC cartridge magnet and coil mm -hmm. to detect the movement. Right. But we don't use a magnet and coil. Uh -huh. We use mm -hmm. a LED, we're mm -hmm. detecting the shadow movement. Mm -hmm. to, so it's a big difference. Yeah. There is some, it might be, it may be so many misunderstanding that yes. some LED or some light mm. on the cartridge mm. may let them think about it may be a laser or some digital things, yes. but it's completely different. Yep. Right. So how they, your cartridges, read the music signal from the LP? Mm. We still using a needle mm -hmm. uh, to detect the groove movement. Backside, mm -hmm. there is a shading plate. Mm -hmm. A tiny, tiny shading plate putting on the cantilever, uh -huh. and when needle moves, shading plate also moves. Moves together. Yeah. There is a LED. There is a photo detector. It's kind of like a solar cell. Mm -hmm. So, in front of the solar cell, uh -huh. shading plate moves like this way. Right. You can see the shading uh, shadow movement. Change the yes. Change, change the brightness. Yeah, right. Right. That is how to detect the movement. Uh -huh. yeah. On both. Right and left yes. channel together. Uh, yeah, uh, we we use two photo detectors yeah. to detect L and right R channel. Mm -hmm. So we use two LED and two photo detector to detect the shadow movement. Wow, it's very as I told as I told in the start of the video, it's very mm. innovative way, mm. very interesting to mm. hear the sound first. Anyway, so how is the when when it uh, so your cartridge is make a LED light from the end point of the cantilever mm. to move the brightness of the photo cells. Mm. So how the LED can move? How is the power supply on the LED? Ah, we use the LED in, yeah. inside of the cartridge. Of course, the LED need a power supply from sure. somewhere else. The phono equalizer supplying the voltage to the cartridge. Uh -huh. That's because yeah. We need to use our own equalizer or compatible eco phono equalizers. Other than other than your product, yes. get other brand also yes. can supply for your cartridges yep. too. Now solution, mm. Soul Note, oh, Solo um, Solution, yeah. EMM Rob, oh, so many brands, Audio, yeah, yeah. and also some Japanese brands su supporting the optical cartridge. Mm -hmm. So DS Audio equalizer or some uh, compatible equalizer you need to use mm -hmm. because we need the power supply from. The equalizer. Oh. Okay. Mm. I, I suppose that there is no coil on the, mm. the cantilever mm. and no magnet also mm. on the cantilever. It will be light uh, comparing with the other cantilevers mm. so mm. far. So, how is the material and the weight of the cantilever? Uh, the shading plate size itself is 10 times less compared with MC cartridge. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. And optical cartridge benefited two things. Mm -hmm. First thing is the moving mass is very low mm -hmm. because we just use a shading plate, mm. the tiny, tiny shading plate, right. 100 micron Shivering. thickness. Yeah. Okay. And so the weight is moving mass is 10 times less. Mm. And second benefit is MM and MC cartridge using a magnetic field Chris, yeah, to right, detect the right. movement. So which means there is magnetic resistance always happen sure. when moves a needle. That always makes some trouble. Yes. Yeah. Makes uh, there is magnetic resistance. But optical cartridge, mm. as I said, we detect shadow movement. Mm -hmm. There is no magnetic resistance. Right, right. So no magnetic resistance and also moving mass is very low. So when needle moves, mm -hmm. the moving mass is just very right mm -hmm. and also there is no magnetic resistance mm -hmm. so needle is very easy to move 
Yeah, very nice. That's because sound is more clear and yeah. wide range and more detailed. Okay, so plate will make no resistance or no magnetic field. Mm. Every time the way, when you use, the, especially when you use the MC cartridges, mm. that kind of magnetic field and some electric noise is making mm. problem mm. whenever we use it. But actually, your way of the optical cartridge mm. make absolutely almost no that yes. kind of electric noise mm. or harm, right? For example, the mm. cartridge output itself is 70 millivolts. Ah, 70. 70, 70 millivolts. It's much, much, much higher than Very MC high. cartridge. More than, uh, almost 100, 10, 10 times higher? Yeah. More. Right, and right. Sometimes MC cartridge need a transformer, the so right. output voltage. Make up the... Yeah, step up trans. Yeah, yeah, right. But we don't need it because output is 70 millivolts. Maybe. So there's no. no issue with the... Okay. So we may regard it, so the merit of the MC cartridge is mm. with no harm or no magnetic field mm, or yes. resistances. Mm. Very good. Very, well. very wise way and very easy way. Mm, no, so. Not easy actually. <laughs> the users can use it easily, mm. but your making product will be not easy. Mm -hmm. But yeah. after installing the cartridge, yeah. the how to use the cartridge itself is the sa completely the same as MC cartridge. Mm -hmm. We're mm. still using a needle, so mm. you need to put the needle on the vinyl, yeah. and after that, you need to clean the needle sometimes, right, right. and you need to adjust torn mm. and uh, lateral and vertical. Mm. So uh, how to use a cartridge itself is completely same as MC mm -hmm. cartridge. How about uh, this is a optical cartridge is it quite different way from the our conventional cartridges. So how is the, the supporting products, something like phono cartridges mm. and even torn arms and head shell, they are all the same? Completely, completely same. You can use your turntable system for the optical cartridge. The products that they uh, used before, mm. that, uh, using that kind of old, old yes, uh, we have current, a compatibility yeah, conventional with, yes, product. No is okay. How about the phono equalizer? They they might be different because yes. they, they need to supply yeah, power need, on the LED. Yes, we need to use mm. optical cartridge phono, phono equalizer. There is two reasons. Mm. One reason is, as I said the phono equalizer supplying the voltage to right. the cartridge. Right. The second reason is the cartridge output itself is totally different from MM too and too MC cartridge. Yeah. MC, uh, no, uh, the output way. Oh. Mm -hmm. The MM and MC cartridge output mm -hmm. is depending on speed. Uh -huh. mm. But we detecting the position Ah, right. So when you read the same vinyl, mm -hmm. the output itself is totally different from MM and MC. Right. right. So this one is adjusting the RIA curve, phono equalizer ah. curve. Because you read the signal very fast. Right? Uh, very fast and output itself is totally different. Right, right. The so MC cartridge, when moves very slowly, output is very low. Mm -hmm. When moves very fast, output is very high. Right, right. But this one, Detecting the position, it doesn't affect, uh, doesn't matter of the speed. Uh -huh. So output is completely flat. Ah, oh, I understand. Okay. So when you want to adjust the RIA phono equalizer mm -hmm. uh, RIA curve, mm. the electronic diagram is totally different from MM and MC one. Uh -huh. MC cartridge phono equalizer need a big right. difference, uh, 40 dB, right? But this one only need a 12 dB, very almost flat, flat very okay. flat one. So that is another reason we need to use okay. uh, optical cartridge phono equalizer. Okay, so it's a, almost a, we can regard it dedicated phono equalizers. Yeah. Okay, and uh, you've compl accomplished very innovative products that have never been before. Mm -hmm. There is some attempt to, to make a, this kind of product before in, mm -hmm. in Japan, I heard, yes. but not succeeded. Mm. So how is your company? I heard that you, your father established your DS Audio company. Mm. So you work together with your father along the way? The DS Audio itself is mm. separated. Uh, uh -huh. So, But our company itself mm. uh, was founded, uh, started 1988. Oh. So 38, mm. 35, 35 years 35 ago. 36 years, years yes. ago, yeah. Uh, our company was an optical Very, mm. development company. Mm -hmm. For uh, normally we made a prototype uh -huh. for the big company like Microsoft, mm -hmm. Sharp, 
Oh, really? Yes. Wow. We have a specialist for optical. Mm -hmm. So that is our company background. Yeah. And, but when I joined the company, yeah. always making, developing the product for big company. Mm -hmm. And we developed the product, but big company will release their own name. Mm -hmm. I think we should make, we have a technology, mm -hmm. we should do by ourselves, sure. by our mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. that, that is start from the DS Audio brand. DS mm -hmm. Audio coming from digital stream. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yep. So you have some patented or something like that? About the cartridge? Audio? Yeah. No, 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 we don't have a the patent. Way, way of the writing? Or no, we oh, don't okay. get the patent. Okay. This is the right question, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you may know that, that there is um, some kind of more than 10 years of LP booming mm -hmm. all globally. Mm -hmm. So this kind of new way of the cartridge is mm -hmm. reading LP, reading sound from the LP. So mm -hmm. there might be the audio files. The LP, uh, LP enthusiast is very keen about your products maybe. Mm -hmm. So soon we will see uh, your products in the, our normal audio uh, LP enthusiast mm. in Korea. Mm. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. So, anything you know, uh, you want to say about the, the Korean, Korean audio files? Yes, or I want to tell you, uh, please remember two things. Mm. First thing is, as you said, the optical cartridge output itself is purely analog. Mm -hmm. Many people misunderstood the yeah. cartridge output is digital. Mm -hmm. Because the sound is very clear yes. and very fast, right. the totally different sound from typical MC cartridge sound. Right. But the output itself is purely analog. Mm -hmm. This is first thing. Yeah. And second thing is people still thinking that there is no needle. How to, <laughs> yeah, people asking me that uh, yeah. how to detect, how to sub. Make, make the, some laser. Yeah, yeah some laser, <laughs> something like that. It's not, it's not right. Yeah. Yes, we're still using a needle and the needle detects a vinyl movement. Right. The difference is backside. Mm -hmm. MM and MC cartridge using a magnet and coil to detect the movement. Mm -hmm. We use a shadow movement. Right. That is the difference. Right. And also the benefit is the moving mass is very low mm -hmm. and there is no magnetic resistance. Mm -hmm. So the needle is very easy to move. Right. That's because sound is more clear and wide range. Yeah. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Uh, I want to hear, I expect uh, your sound. Mm. Soon I want to hear the LP from your cartridges. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I expect that soon we'll see again with your cartridges mm. in, by playing music. Mm -mm. Okay, so thank you for making time mm. to uh, sit together for the mm. interview for the thank Korean Real Fire. Okay, have a nice trip and see mm. you next time too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.